All right, today we're gonna to learn how to do a painting of Trent Reznor from Nine Inch Nails. All right, we're going to the Office Max. Uh, we're gonna get our poster board here and make some copies. So let's go check it out, guys. All right, we're just at the Blick. So we're going to go inside and get our canvas to start the painting. All right, we just got our paper and poster board and canvas and we're ready to start. So let's check out the paper. We got uh, our album covers, and this is our Amazon paper. We got some media. We have um, bands related to Nine Inch Nails. We have concert festivals. We have. Uh, sports teams and related to how the music was used. We have Freddy Krueger and Jesus Connection. <laughs> we have Manson and Natural Born Killers. We have um, Saw, BBC, Crow, some of the movies the movie was in. We have the Nine Inch Nail and the Jewish uh, saying. Um, this is some of the studio paper. This is um, video game paper. and Trent Rosner. So let's get to cutting this paper out. All right, the next stage is the huge stencil. So we got the uh, poster board here, so we're gonna cut on top of this. So let's get the poster board, or get the poster. <laughs> All right, so here we have the large Trent Reznor. So let's cut the, let's take this down. Let's see, I got plenty of space, it doesn't have to be totally straight. I already got a wrinkly, can you imagine? <laughs> well, I'm gonna cut through, straight through it, so what's the point, you know? All right, let's cut that off. Cutting board here. No, I need to 
it on this. Put it on this. This time we have the whole top of the head. <laughs> I had to improvise on my last painting. I was like, where does the top of his head? Man, we'll just guess. Right, let's get the bottom off. We probably should have painted more here, but I'll just guess the ends here. Ideally, I think it should be like three quarter shot, but I really like this straight on shot. It's just really penetrating with the eyes. Um, it'll look really good, I think, so. Hopefully it turns out well. Let's move to the cutting stage. finished the face let's see hopefully that looks like uh, Trent Reznor and we'll see how it turns out I kind of improvised this whole bottom part but I think it's consistent with the jacket so we'll see how it turns out it's gonna be a challenge around the eyes because I kind of cut them weird and they're in the hair so that makes it really challenging really the hair overlies the eye um, which typically you don't want but it's kind of his trademark look when in the 
you know, when he was making his hot albums in the first one or two, three albums, right? All right, the next stage is to open the painting. So we got the um, Blick Studio. This is for the mosquitoes or something. Uh -oh. I got to redo all my paper hanging up. Let's see here. All right, that's ready to go. On to the next stage. All right, the next stage is line this up. Um, we'll see how we want to kind of lay it out. I think. Probably, um, I'll probably do dead center because he's looking dead center. So um, this is good because it's right at the third lines, I think. And let's see if that's right in the middle or not. So the middle, exactly the end of this. So this is 12. So the middle should be right here. Okay, that's dead center. It's 36, so 12 would be probably the rough third. So the rough third is 12 is head. Um, let me put it this way. If 12 is right where his nose is, so I guess that's pretty good for um, composition wise. So now we'll tape it in. Let's just do a temporary tape just to line it up. So you always want to use these lines so because it tends to move somehow. You saw that it just moved a little bit. <laughs> I probably should tape both sides, but whoops. Let's see. It's a little difficult there because there's no line going through. And then flip. And hopefully that'll be lined up, so how we want it. So we'll take that off for now, come back. So our next stage is the paper stage. All right, now we're ready for the paper. finished this paper uh, layer and the next step is let that dry I'm gonna recoat it and from there we'll trim all this off um, and start with the stencil all right we're on the next stage we're gonna do the stencil and kind of outline where the stencil falls so let's get to it so the first thing is kind of line this up obviously that's gonna be a little bit of a challenge so I think it's there It's always weird how this lines up, you're like, this lined up? Lines up, it lines up. <coughs> Let's see if I'm 
shirt the paper you cannot use masking tape. That's definitely a no-no, guys. <laughs> Yeah, these marks really help to get this lined up right. Like right now it doesn't matter because I haven't put them down, but you want to have that lined up how you want to line up. It's the worst tape, I think. <laughs> this tape, you don't need that much tape, but I have to lay it on, right? All right, so let's do top of the head. the eyes because there's no point but I need to know where they're at and these are key features you definitely ought to get these right so I'll take that off see what it looks like uh, you can't see anything so <laughs> <laughs> all right let's tape it in <laughs> I'm always like is this gonna work or not <laughs> let's do the study first All right, let's run through the colors. Interference blue, plume blue, cad yellow, pearly red, wind red, phthalo green, titanium white, Mars black, burnt sienna. Let's get the party started. All right, now we're gonna do kind of the paint study. really accurate. So let's go with this color. It looks more accurate. This is inaccurate. This is, this is a really, really light skin. Let's just do the hair real quick. Looks like something like this. This, like this, like this. So we know he has dark hair. It'll be blue with highlights, but I'll just leave it like that for now. Jacket's probably black. So if we do a dark blue jacket, let's see what that looks like. The dark red one. It's not red there, but just for contrast sake. Let's do a green, just for the hell of it. Kicks. He doesn't wear green, but maybe that works. So we kind of arrange in the jacket colors. It's more closer to this in the painting. It's kind of like a gray blue with blue highlights that matches hair but we don't know if we want to stick with that maybe a very light blue let's see if that works let's see it this way this way this way maybe this color purple this is very similar but kind of an ugly purple it should be different but i don't think i'll go with this color just because it's close to skin color but Do the black, like it says darker here. So this doesn't work right here. You can tell that you need a contrast. It's dark purple, very bluish, but not really digging that purple. It kind of works here. I think I got to use like a real quin blue and red because this purple is just not making it. Let's say he's dark like this, maybe. So that goes here, 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 here. So which color are you picking? <laughs> are you gonna pick these blues, the purples, the browns? Let's see what I pick. Very, very light around here, maybe. Let's see how that looks. I don't know if that works. Because this is very close, the tan to the brown. I don't think that works at all. Here we use a really light purple. Highlight that. 
Um, that definitely appears to work to make his skin pop. You can go a lot darker in the background because he has a very, very light face, so you can have a dark background. We'll see how we play that out. Let's do the blue. Blue looks really nice. Let's try red. I don't think we're gonna use that brown, so let's change it up, see what that looks like. Because it is a very angry music, so maybe red's the way to go, or the yellow. But it might be too powerful as kind of a background color. I don't know if this is orange. It definitely makes the face pop with the red. That blue jacket's kind of nice. The blue is consistent, the jacket's not well. The blue's gonna make the face pop. Purple would make the face pop too. It's the exact opposite, I think, versus the pink. The red is really nice, it's really like, ah, and it captures that pain point. This is too similar. Let's try just pure red down here and see what that looks like. So red. Angry Red Jacket. This is very, very cool. And cool is nice because it, it's more long lasting, I think. It's more tolerable. If you put this bold, bold red, it's gonna be a really harsh painting in person. But again, it's very, very angry, dark music, so red isn't that uncalled for. It's from purely yellow. It's so harsh to do yellow like this, or these primary colors, it's like super intense. It kind of works though, versus the blue. I mean, I thought blue, it's more symbolic, but it's probably why in concert sometimes he does use yellow and he uses browns. He does, like in concert he uses the purple, blue, also this yellow. But he just uses a touch of purple. Well, let's see. So it's kind of the same as the color. All right, I'm gonna do something crazy and stick with the red and the purple. I think that's gonna make his face pop the most. Blues is more kind of sad, but his music is sad and depressed, but it's also very angry, so it's really a debate what to put in the background. These are gonna feel very calm, but it's not calm music, so I'm gonna go with the red. It's kind of a little bit dangerous to use red like that, but we'll see how it turns out. And we'll stick with something like this, maybe. So let's tear that off. So, so what was your favorite color? Put it in the comments below, we'll see if it matches up. Save this up here. So our next stage is going to be taping it in and do the background. Hopefully we can find those lines, right? That's here, I think. Here, it's a little bit over, but that black's going to cover, so it's just good to kind of get behind the head, I think. I'm kind of guessing where his shoulder goes. <laughs> it's not a good scenario to me. It should be probably lower, but I'm like, whatever. I think people will be understanding. So the next gonna be here. Put this back on. It's lined up. This is okay like that. Go into the lower part so it doesn't. Um, it's okay if we cut off a little bit there. Cut off a little. is do you think Trent Reznor was really surprised when they used his music um, to torture people in Guantanamo and in Abu Grave? I don't know. I mean he specifically created a lot of this music, uh, two albums at least, one of his best selling albums in the Maryland, uh, Charles Manson, you know a place where he actually planned all the killings for these terrible events in LA where he went to prison and all his followers went to prison. But it makes me curious because obviously he put a setting in that dark of topic and that dark of area and then of course it's really related to in a way torture but it's only musically right it's different but i mean i really love those albums but i'm just thinking was he really surprised and which musicians did they actually use in zero dark 30 to replace nine inch nails because obviously trent wouldn't want to be associated but they wanted to have similar music so i'm just curious what your thoughts and you know what what the movie zero dark 30 could have been if they had used the real nine inch nails and the real musicians i think they used maybe metallica as well 
you know, some death metal, probably really popular bands they were using. They're really kind of torture, which was horrible because those people would leave and then they'd hear it online and be like, the torture repeat itself, right? So I'm just curious what your thoughts are on that. All right, next stage, we're gonna put the colors. All right, we're on the next stage, we're gonna add the colors and see what happens. So we're choosing a light. So purple will really work well, but I'm going with the yellow. So let's just go with the yellow, go with what we think. So again, this is just the first layer. Just right around the edges here. We'll probably re outline this at the end so it's even bolder, but just a good solid base layer to kind of get something down. A really cool background color, too, would probably be greens. Um, but yeah, next time I do Trent Razor, this would probably be the only one, but because I don't really like the repeats in this style. For landscapes, I don't mind because landscapes are timeless, so it doesn't matter if you do a million mountain landscapes or something, but for these particular works, I like to make them really individual. So let's go to the next layer. All right, so this is the crazy primary yellow. All right, let's move. Let's move to the orange. The orange, orange, orange. Let's see if this is the right color. I don't know. It's kind of a little bit intense. Let's see. This might be more rose than orange. It is kind of a controversial. All right, let's go to the darker one. All right, we're going to add the red. It's really dark red, really rich. Let's add a little bit of blue in there to kind of make it tone it down. Not a pure red, but kind of this. You know, starting to go into purples a little bit. So we'll see how that plays out when we mix these. And there's this perfect color called, what is it called, purple black or red black or something. It's such a beautiful color, but I haven't been able to find it. It's just amazing. And that's a, I think I'm gonna cut that down a little bit. It's very heavy because I haven't glossed it down. Just kind of skim this off a little bit. Taking this down, I think it's really heavy. Okay, there we go. Kind of skim that paint off a little bit. So it's just not so heavy. It's the problem with acrylic is it's very opaque. We got that. Now let's make it really dark. I'm just doing pure black right in there, mix it in. Just make those edges pop a little bit, these corners. I think that's good. We're gonna take off the tape now really quick. Start to tear the paper if you leave it on there. If you notice I really cleaned the edges up last layer. I just kind of skip that. I think it's not super exciting, right? <laughs> like I cut the paper. I don't know if that's super exciting either, but I figure it's more relevant versus this. Let's see how we did the edges. I probably should have measured up the painting when I did this instead of leaving that. That wasn't the smartest way to work, probably. <laughs> All right, so that's that layer. I'm gonna let it dry, let that get really tacky dry, and then see how it goes from there. Um, Cause I can't really work those areas really, the overlap until that's really caked in dry, I think. All right, we finished this layer. It's pretty dry, so I think I can do the purple in here. So we'll fill in it with a uh, nice purple here. All right, fucking purple. I think I'm gonna draw the neckline just to make sure when I put this down, cause I don't wanna go too low. I don't wanna go too high on the jacket. And he has two colors, he has a green and blue, but that might be a little too much, just doing two different materials. Let's do one color, simplify it a little bit. Look a little weird because it's a jacket and a shirt, but <laughs> sometimes you gotta do some weird stuff, you know, take a risk. So we want to go way lower. This neck starts down here, I believe. Yeah. It's a good thing I checked because that would have been way off. Look really weird. <laughs> I 
I wear my coat up to here. <laughs> uh, that would have been ridiculous. Ridiculoso. Lay this all the way down. Just gotta make sure we don't do his neck wrong. It's gonna be super weird. Okay, so then. Next should be here. A little more tape, you see. I think that should be good. Put that off. Let's just hand paint this in. Let's see this goes here. Take off the tape real quick before this dries. So far, we haven't ripped the paper, but we'll see. You always get some issues sometime. So, we'll let that dry and then we'll come back to the face. We'll just do straight pink, kind of this really light, light pink brown, and then we'll do the highlights and then our stencil. We'll see where we get lined up. All right, for this stage, we're gonna do the face. Um, I have to figure out where the outline of the head kind of meets because um, he has his hair drooping all over his face. So I have to kind of find out where the hair starts and the face begins. Because obviously I'm gonna do his hair in kind of a, a bluish tint because he's tinted his hair in the photo and I think that looks super cool. The blue versus the red makes purple. So that's kind of a nice combination, blue, red, purple. And yeah, so we'll figure out where the face is and fill it in. Line this up first. Oh fuck, I painted over the marks. That wasn't smart. <laughs> you fucked yourself. Hopefully this lines up. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's figure out where the face would be. It's gonna have a ear here, I think. Just a little bit coming through. He has nice flat ears, so there's really a lane in between the he has an ear here too, a little bit, so. So this will be here. The interesting I painted way over here. That yellow's way the hell off. I shouldn't have painted this as a real... I screwed myself, homeboy! So that lines up, this lines up. Hey, learn something new every time. <laughs> every time you're like, oh, the hell did I screw this part up? So hair, hair lower. All right, never paint the sides before you're finished with this stage. <laughs> you screw yourself on this last stage. I think that makes sense. So we'll have this here. Hopefully I'm not cutting into the canvas when I do this like here. See this works. Just coat these edges real quick. The hope is this isn't too opaque. We'll see what happens here. It's a very skin color, so there's a lot of white in there to get this color right. So it's always a real challenge when you work with colors like this to get skin color just right. You have a little bit of tearing there, unfortunately. That's what it is. Yeah. All right, that's good. Uh, should we risk it and do the blue layer? <laughs> All right, let's do the blue layer. Fuck it. We're gonna make straight Queen Blue, which is out of stock. <laughs> Gotta take risks like that when you're out of paint. <laughs> Burn up your last resources. All 
All right, so that's it for this stage. You gotta let everything dry, and I have to go to work. I just found out the black paint is sticking to the wall here. I'm like, I hope the landlord's not watching these videos. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so this is not lining up for some reason. That should be theoretically the end of that. That's too high. It's way off on that side. You have to really redo the hair here, but it is what it is, I guess, huh? Because this lines up here. This is a little bit off. This still doesn't make sense. Well, this is going to be black. That's fine. This next line's a little bit off there. You hope a tiny fraction, then this is off. And this is off. Well, this will be on. This is okay. This should be kind of okay. I'm trying to find the least amount of compromises. This black should cover all this air here. Alright, here goes nothing. The magic craziness. Yeah, so definitely keep these marks next time. <laughs> Note to self, <laughs> follow your own system. It's funny because usually I figure this out after I'm like, oh, it should have been off of this many millimeters, but the moment you're like, I don't know how to fix this, what the heck? Because this, this black should go over the yellow slightly, so that's correct there. This is too high. This is, uh, skin's weird here too, but that's gonna be covered. We'll see how we fix it. And this will go like this, this will go like... And this goes all the way down. It doesn't even go all the way down, that's an issue. You go like this, then it's off. It's got to lay flush here, there's no way to do that side otherwise. You have a lot of blocks, so i got to use a lot of this stuff. These are what you need for cleanup. <laughs> Take it and commit. That's all you can do with this. To the process and hope. Comes out good. I like that the blue's kind of coming through, even through the black. It's really cool. Hopefully, it's not going around the edges, which is always the challenge you don't want to happen. You never know until you take off the paint what happens. It's okay to run out of paint down here, but you don't want to run out of paint up there, I don't think. Hopefully, this will look cool and we'll keep a lot of those features as well, but. Off. The eyes came out perfect. That's great. Is there you want, you know, the most? So I think we want to blend all this. This is messed up. Together. This comes together. There's a little bit of bleed here and there. just rough real fast but you have to work fast in this style so let's lock in that neck uh, holy crap there's a whole bunch of this shit here let's put that one like that we gotta clean this up it's kind of a weird looking jacket but <laughs> it's kind of like superhero look I'll leave this for last because that's the less. And this is the biggest mix. So we'll definitely have to repaint that. What are you going to do? I hope I don't have to fix that hair part. That's just a nightmare to try to fix. Simplify this a little bit. Not working well, so we'll just provide some hair there for you. <laughs> it's really dark on one side, but. I kind of filled it in. I probably should have left some of those areas unfinished, but because um, he really only has a couple highlights. Some of these I think I made up. And, what are you gonna do? Like so weird with that blue. I think it's just too light of a blue. If it was a dark, darker blue, it'd be fine. But just kind of overpowering a little bit. So lessen this um, highlights a little bit. But it'd be nice to break some of those back. But those are hard to. To cut in once you get rid of them. Kind of a weird thing with this hair, like getting dry, the worst scenario possible. But it's acrylic, it dries eventually. I should have seen this earlier. 
I mean, it's a shame because I have that text behind there, so. I think his eyebrows goes deeper in there, too. Oh, yeah. Neckline is okay. Oh, yeah. So we just have a little bit here, filling the lips, kind of the highlights. We have to do these, but I don't know if I can get those colors right. Got some mistakes in the hair, but it doesn't matter as much because it's just hair. So maybe his forehead went way up here, I don't know. <laughs> It looks kind of like he has a bandana on versus a head, you know? Like, that's just too short. It should be way up here. So I'll have to paint, I think, the hairline up to here, maybe. So, yeah, this was definitely off a little bit when I did it somehow. So, yeah, I'm going to have to do the hair a little bit higher. That's just too low. It's at least the length of his nose, so it should be here. But I can do that brown, I think. Just eat it into it. But I was hoping to keep this natural look. But we'll let that dry and see where we go from here. Let's see if we got this we have to fix. Yeah, this would be six times easier with I use spray paint instead of this black paint. But I really like this unique look. It's made up creases here. Just making shit up on the fly here. Let's flip this. Fix these ends real quick. Makes it look more like it was painted that way. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. It's just his forehead is, I painted that too too low. That's like a Latino. Latinos have a really short forehead, but Europeans have this way higher forehead. Um, I have a pretty high forehead now, but I don't think it was that high, but I remember some Latinos, they can have foreheads like literally like an inch and a half or something. It's, it's crazy to see like, dude, that doesn't look real. How's that possible? So yeah, I'll let this dry and then see where we go for the next stage. All right, we're on the layer. This is drying up the paint. Um, first thing I'll do is do the outside. I'll have to fix this black area, so we'll see how that works out. And let's get started. There's always a good idea in painting to kind of put your highlights right next to your blacks. It'll make just an easy way to make it pop how much effort um, the eye just finds that naturally when you look with your eye so I'll probably take some of the black hairs out once this dries the dark because that's really really dark I think that's pretty good for those colors through the neck so I have that color let's just finish this all right nice short forehead but I had <laughs> taking away your hair man it's going away <laughs> getting bald by the second here buddy <laughs> he's probably like what the hell dude I didn't ask to be bald uh oh that's too long that's the wrong place Shit. sorry dude that's not right. <laughs> like his ears are like, <laughs> I 
get the monster going, bro. It's funny, now he's got like two strands hanging out there. He's like, what the hell's going on my hair, bro? Keep fucking it up. Freaking it up, man. Now let's get the darker. We're just kind of eyeballing this as we go along. Go ahead and add that in there a little bit. Makes his head come out. So we can use this dark, really nice darkness here on the nose. He's very angry. He's a grumpy kid. Definitely didn't get his Cheerios in the morning, that's for sure, man. <laughs> He's like, where the fuck are my Cheerios? Feed hungry rock star. I don't want to make him looking like Culture Club, you know? <laughs> Culture Club! <laughs> He's gonna be pissed, like, what the hell is this shit? This idiot making my damn fucking nose look that way. He's gonna be a demon after this. Ah, where's my Cheerios? You son of a bitch. <laughs> He's looking kind of ghostly, but hopefully that's not looking too horrible. But now we need that really creamy whatever color that is. Ah, where's my Cheerios, you damn kids? <laughs> Cheerios! A little bit of highlight on here. And a little bit to match. Hopefully he's not too ghostly looking, he's kind of pale looking, but I'm trying to keep this color as much as possible, but he looks kind of sickly too. <laughs> it's kind of sickly music that you're like, Highlights, <laughs> highlights. So there's going to be a highlight here. Pretty color, he's got a dimple. And a little dimple here. A little dimple here. Oh, he's so cute. A little bit here. Oh, that's so cute. See the whites of the eyes. I think the black has to come down more, it's not accurate. I think his um, eyebrow, I'm going to take it a little bit out here. Top tire and lower here. <laughs> Trent's gonna be like, what the fuck is this idiot doing? <laughs> I thought it looked cool to break it out, but it looks more realistic that way, I think. So I think we got those three layers. So now the white, the highlight is this way. You really don't see the white styles, but I wanted to show that. Um, so I'm cleaning it up, it's really overshadowed. So you really wouldn't see the white's eyes, but it kind of really draws in. It's a little bit, I cleaned up the visual effects from the reality. So it looks a little bit more, comes the better a little bit. Oh, there's a little dimple there too. I didn't see that. I think this abstract jacket is good enough. I'm kind of recovering some of this black.
right, we just finished the painting. Uh, let's take a closer look. So it has this really nice um, highlights. I think it's dark enough there, not too dark. Um, and here that's pretty well coated. I brought back in a little bit more orange. I don't know how it's gonna dry. Right now it's kind of reddish, but maybe it dries a little more orangier, hopefully, so that kind of has better blend between the orange and the yellow. I think his hair is pretty solid. You got the really nice blue background that I wanted. Um, I'm not sure if it should be that light, maybe a little darker, but it is that contrast with the black as well. Um, I didn't bring back the blue on the other side, which maybe I should have, but it's in shadow, so I just left it with, with that. I think the face turned out pretty good. Um, the colors are a bit, uh, how do I want to say, a little bit cosmetic-y, like just a touch of makeup feel versus the actual skin colors, but I'm just going to leave it like that, I think. Otherwise, you're going to lose all the undertones. You have this nice purple jacket. I just abstracted this all. There really should be kind of a green t-shirt in there, but I just went solid purple. Um, overall, I think it's a pretty solid painting. Um, the black went pretty well, even though I lost my place, so to say, uh, with the lines, which is really silly. I painted it black on the sides to kind of save time. I ended up kind of screwing myself because I painted the black early. I should have waited. Probably should have just done film edit or something. Um, I really like the paper choices. You can see it mostly through most of this painting, so it's really nice. I preserved it. I know when I did my Snoop Dogg painting, I had to kind of redo the face over and over. I couldn't get the skin tones right. It was driving me nuts. And here I've left a lot of the original kind of paper you can see through in the face. Um, I'm not sure if that's exactly the right skin tone for him. It's kind of like this pa really pale, but he is pretty pale. Um, he's more kind of a yellow, greenish, um, tan color. I'm not really great with skin colors, so this is... A little bit off of what his true skin color is, but I think it reads well and I don't want to kind of overcoat it, overcoat it, over it, and eventually you don't have anything. So I really like the paper behind it, so I'm just going to leave it. I think it's good enough. Um, I, overall, I think it went pretty well. Um, yeah, overall, I, I don't see any changes. I might make some minor tweaks here and there, but overall, hopefully you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up. If you like to subscribe, you can subscribe below. And I'll see you on the next painting. Thanks for watching, guys.